going to go ahead and get started, Alfredo. Thank you. Okay. Uh, good evening. Thanks for joining us in today's information session on the most generous scholarship available here at Midland College, the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship. We are very excited about letting you know that um, we have opened the scholarship to award 10 new participants for the fall 2020 semester, uh, fall semester. Upon entrance, your microphone will be muted. And throughout the information session. My name is Josefina Josie Samagay. I'm the Outreach and Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship Coordinator. I always like to, my nickname is Josie, but I always like to say my real name because sometimes uh, they might, uh, I have had some students come and look for me and ask for Josefina. And uh, some of my coworkers do not know uh, who Josefina is, but, um, Everybody, most of the people know me by Josie. And, uh, but Josefina is my real name. Have you ever thought about wanting to go to college but didn't know how you or your parents would pay for college? Have you ever dreamed of attending Midland College and graduating debt free? Well, today, you will not only learn about this great life-changing opportunity about the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship, but you will also be learning about, we will also be talking about how to apply for the scholarship, the requirements, preferences, and what the scholarship committee is looking for in applicants. At the end of the information session, we will be having a question and answer uh, section. Uh, please use your chat box to submit your questions during the, the information session. And uh, your chat box could be found at the middle of the screen towards the center. And you could see an icon. Uh, when it's on, it will turn on to, to the color blue. You can see a, a little picture of it on the right side of my screen. And it's a little circle with a little pointy um, on the left side. Uh, that's the chat box. The Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship is and has been available thanks to a very generous man, Mr. Bill Pace Cogdell. A generosity that has touched many. I would like to introduce to you at this time, Mr. Alfredo Chaparro, Director of Community Services, so he can share with you a little bit more about Mr. Bill Pace. Uh, thank you, Josie. Um, it's an absolute honor to be working at 201 West Florida, which is the location of Midland College's Congo Learning Center. The, the building uh, that's actually where Josie and I are currently, we're actually at the Congo Learning Center. And this building that we're in was actually uh, Mr. Cogdell's place of business. Um, in 1997, when Mr. Cogdell uh, passed away, the community realized the death, the further death of, uh, of uh, Mr. Cogdell's generosity. Uh, once again, um, his last will and testament established the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship Trust. Um, one of the trustees is joining us here tonight, so thank you, Carol, for, for joining us. Um, um, uh, tonight, uh, over, as you'll be hearing tonight, um, it's uh, Mr. Cogdell started the most generous scholarship at Midland College. Hundreds of individuals have been on this scholarship. And tonight we're beginning the process to look for the 10 next awardees for the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship. 
Um, so I thank you for joining us tonight. And uh, thank Josie for all the work that she's done and all the staff who have, wor have done work uh, to make this uh, event possible. Thank you, Josie. Thank you, Alfredo. Uh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing for me to be. I would like to to invite uh, Miss Miss Carol Subia since she's joining us, and um, I feel it's very special that we have someone who ha actually met and worked with Mr. Bill Pace Cogdell, and uh, it's it's a big uh, it's a big blessing to be able to know someone who actually worked with such a generous man um, and who is making this scholarship possible to us. Uh, Carol, would you like to join in or say a few words? Uh, maybe, um, hello? Okay. Yes. Yes. Welcome, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, Bill Cockdell uh, is a character. Sometimes you either love him or you hate him, but, but he was he he was a a man who who loved education, who always wanted to have an education himself to go to college, but never had the opportunity. Uh, his dad couldn't afford to take him, but his dad chose not to. So he had a yearning ever since he was uh, a teenager. He joined the service, the World War II, when he was about 25. He was older. And then he, after World War II, he, he had his own businesses from an electrician. He was a contractor. He had a bookstore. He, he even took dancing lessons. Uh, in, uh, in California. I mean, he was a professional dancer. <laughs> and he, whatever he desired to do or wanted to learn, he, he, he took after it. He, he read books, he, he, took, he took courses at Midland College when he moved to Midland. And he had his own business in Midland right there at the Cogdale Learning Center. That's where he started his business from a loan. He was a loan company, insurance company. Um, I think, and then he, and then he decided to close that down and, and start his own investments in stocks. And that's where I, I started with him when he started the insurance company and then he let go of all the workers and kept me and he just had stocks. He just bought stocks one after the other, reinvested his, his dividends. And by the time he passed on, he had at least 300 companies. And he decided that he wanted to leave uh, scholarships for students who didn't have the opportunity that he, he didn't get to have. And he loved that side of town. He loved to be around Spanish people. He loved the food. He, he even took classes to learn how to speak Spanish. He, he even spoke Spanish better than me at times. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, wow. he, he, he just loved that area. He loved the Spanish people and he wanted to help out those in need. So, you know, it's an opportunity to have this scholarship. I know there's so many students that wish they could have a scholarship that paid for tuition. Not only that, but pays for the books. And this scholarship has, the only requirement is that you keep your GPA at a C, above a C. And Mr. Caldwell had a heart for students as that as well, because, you know, he didn't, have, he didn't do well in school. And, uh, he, he wished he had the opportunity and the, the help and the encouragement that, that, he, that he didn't receive when he was young. So this is opportunity and I wish, I pray you guys take advantage of it. And go as far as you can, go, go and get your BA. 
because every time somebody graduates, I can just see him bursting, you know, bursting with smile. And it's just a pleasure to have this opportunity always to see you guys in person and to see uh, to see you guys succeed. I wish you I wish you guys well. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. It's a blessing to know someone who who knew such a wonderful person who is making this available and changing all these people's lives. Even even for me, it's a blessing to be coordinating the scholarship. The Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship pays for in-state Texas tuition, books, and fees. And it also pays for the fall and spring semesters. The Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship can continue as long as the student is enrolled and meets scholarship guidelines. If the student transfers to the University of Texas of the Permian Basin, UTPB, immediately after attending Midland College, he or she will be eligible to continue receiving the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship. Yay! It's a great opportunity, life-changing. I myself graduated debt-free from college with assistance of the FAFSA, but when I heard about the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship, I was, I was speechless in awe of knowing that if you get awarded, you get selected for this scholarship, you, you can keep your FAFSA and the scholarship will pay for all your tuition, books, and fees. Be eligible, you must, there's five requirements that we have, and I have, um, I have numbered these requirements. These are a must. So the, the first one is you must have participated in Cogdo Learning Center services or resources prior to applying for the scholarship. That, what I mean prior to applying for the scholarship uh, before you submit your application. So the application will be due. The last day to submit your application would be June the 11th, which is a Thursday because we have just entered uh, our summer hours and we are closed on Fridays. So um, if you have not received one of the services that we'll be listing here, uh, feel more than welcome to call us, email us, and request one of the services if you haven't received them and you are needing them or you want to apply for the scholarship. Uh, some of the services that I will be talking about are like attending ESL classes here at the Cogdell Learning Center. Um, maybe you might need or have received uh, college services. You maybe attended some of the workshops we have offered or you've received services such as the from the Business Economic Development Center. I will be talking a little bit more about these services. Uh, the application has three uh, very short responses and uh, you might, it's very important that you list uh, the services you have attended here at the Cogdell Learning Center. Some of the classes that are offered here are English as a second language. That is through the ESL department. They have first, second, and third levels. They also offer citizenship classes. Uh, we also offer GED in Spanish classes. Uh, the GED English classes are offered at the Midland College main campus. The ESL department also offers uh, CNA classes, certified nurse assistant. And uh, as you can see, they have a good variety of classes that they offer, including real estate and entrepreneurship. If you want more information about these classes, uh, feel free to call the number below.
which is uh, 432-684-5323. They are going to be having registration, uh, I believe in August, uh, to start their classes again. Another way you can, another option that you can qualify for the scholarship that you have received college services at Cogdill. And besides being the Bill Pace Cogdill Scholarship Coordinator, I also help with three applications. One of them, uh, there's two, uh, we're two persons here at the Cogdill Learning Center who help with these applications. It's myself and Monica. And uh, these applications are the Midland College Admissions application which you can find at applytexas.org and the FAFSA and TASFA. The FAFSA is the free application for federal student aid, which is for United States citizens and permanent residents. And the TASFA is for Texas application for state financial aid for Texas residents who have resided in Texas three years prior to their high school or GED graduation date. Below are the websites. The, the applications are online and they're very user friendly, but if at any time you feel you need help with these applications, we'll be more than happy to assist you. That's what we're here for. You can call us, you can email us, and Monica or myself will be more than happy to assist you. I believe Monica is joining us. So Monica, um, would you like to say hi to, to our students who have joined us? Yes, good evening everyone. My name is Monica and I have been working with Midland College for 18 years. Um, I helped Josie with Apply Texas. FAFSA and TASFA. So um, I had an experience 18 years ago. Uh, I knew someone at the Cogdale Learning Center and she was very friendly and she helped me with my FAFSA. And because of that experience, I love helping students. So today, even though Midland College is closed, I still continue helping students doing their Apply Texas, FAFSA through Microsoft Teams. Um, don't be scared. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions if you have any questions or need help with those applications. Call. Um, don't don't forget. My name is Monica, and it's nice being here. Thanks. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. You're welcome. Another requirement to, to be eligible for the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship is maybe you've attended um, one of our workshops that uh, have been offered here at the Cogdell Learning Center. We were uh, we had several workshops here, as you can see the flyers. We had uh, four FAFSA Saturday workshops where we helped uh, we helped students and adults um, fill out their application for financial aid. And uh, if you qualify for FAFSA, this is money that you do not have to pay back. Um, we also had the Legacy Scholarship Information Session, which was very popular. This is for high school students who are have graduated or will graduate from a Midland County high school. Uh, we also had uh, three workshops one was over the how to become a doctor. Uh, since Midland College has uh, has partnership with uh, with an institution who prepares doctors and safe spaces for students who have attended Midland College and want to become a doctor in the future. Um, another of the work workshops we had was how to become an engineer. And the third that we had that we offered was how to become a lawyer.
another requirement, um, another option that could help you be eligible for the Bill Pace Cocktail Scholarship is a service through the Business Economic Development Center. They offer free counseling uh, services that are available on the topics of credit, home buyer, or small business. Alfredo, would you like to share a little bit about the Bill Pace, the Business Economic Development Center? Yes, uh, I can mute myself. Uh, the Midland College Business and Economic Development Center, the counseling services that Josie just mentioned, um, those services are free, um, like it sa states there. You just give us a call, um, even though we are, we're currently doing these services from a distance by phone and possibly um, via Microsoft Teams as well. Um, but we have been doing this here for the last month. We continue to provide services from a distance. Um, in addition, we, from time to time, we have workshops related to those topics of credit, home buyer, and small business. Uh, by credit, if you know anybody who's interested in establishing credit and just getting um, off on the right foot as they start credit, we're a great place to start. I um, mean, we can go to the other side of the spectrum. If you are maybe already got some dings against your credit and you need to improve your credit, we can help out with that too. Uh, if you know anybody interested in purchasing a home but afraid of the process or um, starting a small business, afraid about the process, doesn't know about the process, give us a call. Um, in addition to that, one thing that we do have coming up here, and this is very important, is that we're having a workshop on Monday, June 8th at 7 p.m. It's going to be about establishing credit. Uh, so if you want to learn how to establish credit well um, and why it's important um, in, do, in starting it successfully, um, please join us for this workshop. Uh, we specifically designed this workshop so that if individuals are interested in receiving one more service via the Cogdo Learning Center, that they can put one more service on their on their application. So that's why it's uh, this Monday is three days before the deadline of Thursday, June 11th. So um, make yourself more competitive for the application by and, and consider attending this workshop here. Uh, many of you may have joined via um, the information that was on the flyer for this event. If you did that, it's the same process here. You're gonna input a WebEx meeting number and a password. And uh, some of us, I, some of you I know are joining by phone and the information for joining by phone is also there. So make your application more competitive and consider attending this workshop on June. If anybody has any questions about that, we have our phone number at the bottom of this slide and our email. We are um, answering our phones and responding to emails. So. Feel free to outreach to us and hope to see you. Thank you, Josie. Thank you, Alfredo. Another requirement to be eligible for the Bill Pace Cogdill Scholarship, uh, as I told you in the beginning, uh, the slides that have a number, like this one has a number two, that is a must. So to be eligible, you must demonstrate financial need, which is financial need is determined by completing the FAFSA or TASFA and will be based on your EFC number. Um, I just wrote a small tip for the FAFSA EFC number must be below 5711 to be more um, competitive for the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship. Since uh, Mr. Bill Pace Cogdell uh, wanted to help students who had hardship into going to college, uh, that's why we have uh, we use the FAFSA EFC number to go by. Uh, another requirement, which is to complete an application and provide all information requested. 
On the application, we will be asking for one or two page essay, no more than two pages, please, and two letters of recommendation from a non relative. The recommendation letters can be from any any um, even Midland College employees, teachers, uh, except from a relative. We are also asking for an unofficial transcript, or maybe an unofficial transcript will be accepted if you already if you are already attending Midland College. We will request that you provide proof of FAFSA, TASFA, that it was successfully processed, not successfully completed. It has to be processed. Okay, the FAFSA copy of three pages of the student aid report, or you can submit the whole student aid report, which is the SAR. This is obtained after you do complete your FAFSA, you will receive an email between three to five days of completing the FAFSA and it would include your SAR. The TASFA, we are asking that you provide your 2018 IRS tax return, your transcript, which can be obtained online or by calling uh, the 1-800 number listed here, which is 1-800 829-1040 or try the local IRS office by calling 432-686-9977 to schedule an appointment and go pick up one at the main office here in Midland. All this information uh, will be submitted with the online application. You would scan your documents, attach them as a PDF and submit your application. I would highly recommend that you go into the website and uh, read all the tabs, all the information, even click on the application, read the information since it has um, information for the essay, and, um, and then just exit the application, prepare your stuff, and Go in and access it again when you have gathered all your stuff. You might be asking what should be included on the essay that, that you have to write, the one or two page essay. We would like for you to address the following questions. Why do you want to go to college? What are your educational and career goals? What are your family and employment responsibilities? How will you fit college in with your other responsibilities? Why are you going a good candidate for the scholarship? Please provide details about your academic ability, perseverance, dependability, interest in learning, personal goals, financial need, and etc. I highly recommend that you express yourself in this essay because uh, I know that some of some of you I have not met, and I will be depending on this essay to better um, process the application and select my the candidates. You might be asking yourself, where do I find my SAR? To access your SAR student aid report, uh, after you receive the email from FAFSA stating your 2020-21 FAFSA has been successfully processed, you would log in into your FAFSA website and you would click the thin blue line labeled student aid report, which I have added a picture here. You can see there towards the, mid, the bottom of the page, this, this example was half a page. So it's towards the middle of the page. It's a very thin blue line that says view or print your student aid report, your SAR. You would click on that and you will scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the PDF button. 
Save the PDF to your computer, not your phone. Send the saved PDF with your Bill Pace Cogdell application when you are ready to submit. Another thing I wanted to share is that the application that is online, if you start filling it out and you submit, um, let's say two documents and save it and then return back, it will not save your two downloaded PDF files. You have to upload and upload all your documents at once. So I highly recommend that you do not um, upload two documents until you are ready to upload all the documents. <clears throat> To be eligible, you must attend or plan to attend Midland College. You, you must be willing to start at Midland College or attended in the past and continue or are wanting to continue at Midland College for the fall 2020 semester. And classes will be starting Open registration already started April, I believe it was April the 6th. And uh, registration will be going on through August the 24th, the week of August the 24th. The sooner you register, the better it is. I will be looking to see the initiative of the students who are applying. Another required eligibility requirement is that you must be enrolled or plan to enroll in at least six hours or more of college coursework, either developmental or credit bearing classes. What I mean by six hours or more is at least half time, which is 50%, it's six to eight credit hours. The Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship applicant preferences, which we are looking for, is that you possess a high school diploma or a GED certificate. If applicable, the applicant is currently attending Midland College. He or she must be meeting satisfactory academic progress, which is the SAP standards. And the SAP is complete a minimum of 67% of all registered hours each semester. This will include the withdrawal hours. Um, and maintain a cumulative overall GPA of 2.0. Nothing below a 2.0. I will be looking at that also to award the applications, the 10 applicants, new applicants. B, not have more than 93 hours attempted at Midland College. If you are already attending Midland College, uh, for you not to have more than 93 hours already. And C, not be on federal financial aid suspension from Midland College or the last institution you have attended. What is the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship Selection Committee looking for? The education, education and personal history of the student, career goals, and likelihood to persist and succeed in college. The parent level of education, past and current involvement with Cogdell Learning Center, services and resources, it is very important you list your services you have received here at the Cogdell Learning Center in the past. It doesn't matter how long ago, uh, please list them. And um, steps taken to plan college attendance. Uh, I'll be looking to see if you have already registered for classes 
um, on how, how much of an initiative you have taken into wanting to go to college. And number five, demonstrate financial need. Again, this is based on the FAFSA TASPA EFC number, which you will find when you retrieve your SAR. The Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship is open and accepting applications. Applications will be accepted until 5 p.m. on Thursday, June the 11th. The online application and process can be accessed via the link below. If at any time you need assistance in uh, finding the application, feel free to contact me, email me, and I'll be more than happy to guide you. I recommend that you plan appropriately as the application process includes short answers, the essay, the two letters of recommendation, the transcript, and proof of FAFSA, TASFA completion. And uh, the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship does not necessarily make new awards every year. The last time we awarded, it was two years ago. So it's not open every year. Okay. Uh, we are going to open the question and answer session. Please use your chat box to submit your questions. Again, uh, you can type your questions on the chat box, which is the little blue circle, the little circle with a little pointy to the left. And when it's blue, that means that it's activated. And you can, I believe it turns on on the right side um, the chat box where you could type your question. Josie? Yes? Um, we have, the last count, we had four questions. Uh, the first question comes from Angel Rios. I'm going to unmute him because uh, his chat question came in uh, many minutes ago. And uh, I need clarification. So, Mr. Rios, I'm going to unmute you here for a second. And you asked, how do we check that number? So, which number were you speaking about, Mr. Uh, I'm sorry, I unclicked Annabelle Rivas. Just one moment. Miss, uh, Mr. Rios, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm right here. Great. Um, tell us a little bit about what number were you, how do we check that number? Which number were you uh, referring to, sir? Yes, sir. I had a question about um, looking for the EFC number. Hey, but there was a next slide that that showed it, so I figured it out a little bit. But thank you. Okay. Thank you. I'll now go over to Annabelle. I'll mute Mr. Rios and Annabelle Rivas. Are you there, Annabelle? Yes. Okay. You asked about which website. I assume you're speaking about which website has the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship information. Yes, and also like uh, if there is a yeah to submit the the application or something like that, you know. Yes. Um, go ahead, Josie. She's asking about which uh, uh, where to find the website. Okay, uh, you would go to Midland.edu, our Midland College website. You would click on um, enrollment and aid, which is in the middle of the screen. You would put your cursor there and a drop down box will come up and it will say fin um, financial assistance paying for college. Okay. And then it's, it will take you to the scholarship screen. And there on the scholarship screen, there's going to be a green box that has the name of all the scholarships and you would click on Cogdell. It would take you direct, directly to the scholarship. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Josie, did we also, um, we don't have to refer to it right now, but didn't you have the actual website address in blue on one of the slides? Yes. Here, okay, here. So this, it, it's this in is the, the slides. Oh, there it is right there. Yes. Midland.edu 
backslash enrollment and aid backslash pain college and then scholarships and cogdo and it would take you directly yes yes <laughs> yes it's also on the flyers that we we submitted okay okay see <laughs> yes yes miss Rivas, you had one more question asking so if attending college i would do the same process yes so are you already attending midland college yes i am already attending okay uh do you plan to continue attending college in the fall yes okay okay so then you would be a good prospect uh uh part you know applicant so it, it will be the same process like to get the fafsa number the sar and all of that it's the yes. same okay yes. mm -hmm. have we answered your questions miss rivas yes thank you so much okay I will now move on to the next question, and I do not want to slaughter your name, uh, but I will find your uh, name here and and uh, activate you. Just one second. I can find it. Okay. Um, last name Aduay or something like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, great, yeah, great, I, I okay, worry. great. Um, I, I got the question from you that says the official transcript, whose email address should it be sent to? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> the official transcript, uh, when you access the Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship website uh, and you click on the last tab, it's going to take you to the application, the online application. <clears throat> on the online application, way towards the bottom, it's going to have four, uh, we are requesting four documents to be submitted. And there it's going to list the transcript. So that is where you upload it. Um, actually, actually, I, I'm going to submit the unofficial transcript because that's the one I have like currently. Okay, does no, that include? Saying, yeah, it's my Midland College um, unofficial transcript. Okay, since yes, it's I'm the. Saying, I'm saying that um, once I process the official one, whose email address should it be sent to? Uh, do not send the official one if you, if you don't have it yet. Uh, okay. Email me whenever you have the official one. But I will not be requesting, um, after you submit your application, if you are a good candidate for the scholarship, okay. the students who I have selected will, will enter uh, phase two, and I will be contacting the students by email or by phone, and I will be requesting more information. Okay, ma'am. Is that uh, good for you, um, for yes. the attendee? Thank you very much. Yes. I'll, I'll mute you now and move on to the next question. These are new questions, so forgive me if it takes me a second longer. Um, okay, so Annabelle Rivas, who we have spoken to before, said, is there any way that we can receive an email with all this information? Annabelle, we will be re we are recording this uh, this PowerPoint information session, and we are planning to make it available um, on the same website that the Bill Pace Dell Scholarship application is available, um, and also. On the same Bill Pace Cogdell Scholarship website. You will find a lot of this information there to help you guide you in the process of applying for the scholarship. If at any time you have any questions, feel free to call me. You can email me. Uh, 
uh, to the email that I have here on the screen, or you can give me a call. Uh, we are here to, to help you. Don't hesitate to contact me or, or call me. Do we have any other questions? Let's see. Uh, so, um, how do we get our transcripts from the college? Is asked from Josefina. Okay. If you go to the Midland.edu website and on the search box, click, uh, type in transcripts. It would send you to the to the site where you can to the page where you can request your transcript. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if we had it to like contact somebody or or um, or if it was something else. Okay. Thank you, Josefina. Thank you. And the next question is. Isabel, good afternoon. Last year, I didn't receive my FAFSA because I had my bachelor's degree in nursing in Mexico. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> that would be a special circumstance. I would recommend that, um, I would recommend that she still apply and explain her situation on the on the essay that she has to write and within the application also explain her situation the next question pizza thanks for this okay then uh she's making commentary so i'll move on to the next one um, she thanked us for the opportunity, uh, but she didn't meet all four requirements. Um, now I'm going to Mariana. Uh, this is only for MC and UTPB, right? Can you ask that question again? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, she asked, this is only for MC Midland College and UTPB, right? Yes, uh, we prefer that you attend Midland College, start at Midland College, and then transfer to UTPB. We highly recommend that you start at Midland College, graduate from Midland College, and then if you are meeting the requirements, will have an opportunity to continue to UTPB. The next question comes from Claudia Ramirez. My son would be a senior next year. Should he apply now or wait until next year? Uh, Can you repeat the question? Yes. My son will be a senior next year. Should we, should he apply now or wait until next spring? He's a senior right now? Next year. So the, for next the upcoming year. year, he's not a senior yet. He, he, okay. I assume this means high school senior. For the scholarship, uh, I recommend he will wait to, to apply for the scholarship. Go ahead and mention that this doesn't go out every year as well, so there's no guarantee. Well, yes, the scholarship uh, does is not open every year, so um, just keep in touch. So whenever we open it, you already have services. We can help you next year. Do your FAFSA, your Apply Texas, and uh, you will be ready for when the scholarship opens again. 
And that could include maybe that's, that student maybe starting their freshman year at MC, not getting it their freshman year because it's not open that year, but maybe it's opened in the sophomore year and they could receive it then. <clears throat> yes. Another question from uh, a, a repeat question from the name, uh, unfortunately, I cannot pronounce. I went through the application through, I went through the application yesterday. Is it compulsory that I must have done community services in America? Can I put some extracurricular activities I participated in Africa? Yes, you can add, add them. Whatever extracurriculum classes, uh, volunteer, uh, that you have volunteered, uh, anything, uh, feel free to add them, yes. Uh, Van Beek asks, uh, since the meeting was recorded, will we be able to rewatch it later? Uh, Josie, you answered that a few minutes ago. So yes, it is our plan to post it on the MC website next week. Give us some time, uh, the IT department and IT, department has said they think they can do it. They're confident they're going to be able to do it. Um, if, if something happens with that, contact us and we'll figure out a way to get it to you. Yes. Um, good evening. How do we request, and this comes from Jessica Melendez. Good evening. How do we request a meeting to help or help on our FAFSA? Uh, you would email me. You can email me to this uh, email that is on the screen on the PowerPoint. Uh, you can call me and we will schedule an appointment at this time since we do not, since the Cogdo Learning Center and Midland College is not open due to, to the COVID-19 health situation. We are using uh, having our appointments by WebEx or Teams meeting and we will schedule you an appointment we will guide you uh and we will we will help you fill your application and just a reminder everybody uh, josie and monica reyes and uh, josie samagay who is the primary speaker and Reb and monica reyes is another individual at cogdell who can help you with that Um, Maritza Sanchez, um, I ask you to contact uh, um, Josie with a question. It sounds like it's a unique situation for yourself. So I'll ask you to outreach to uh, um, Josie. And that is the last question. And we are at 7.59. Okay. <clears throat> I just wanted to share with you that uh, Midland College is observing summer operating hours um, from 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday, from May the 11th through June through August the 6th. We just started this week, our summer hours, Monday through Thursday. And uh, feel free to email me, call me, and uh, We'll be more than happy to assist you. Uh, we still have a uh, to till June the 11th. If you if you need any kind of assistance, either FASFA, Apply Texas, uh, TASFA, just contact me or Monica, and we will be more than happy to help you. Uh, I look forward to reading and reviewing your applications. Um, Hopefully, one day soon, we can meet. And, um, in person or through the online meeting. After after this health situation passes by. Um, and I want to just let you know that I will be here to assist you. And I feel that your success is my success. Thanks again for joining us and have a good evening. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.
That will conclude this recording. And just a reminder, we hope to repeat uh, this on the Midland College website next week. Thank you. Bye bye. We're down to nine. We're down to twelve. Eleven. Ten. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, this is Giovanna. Yes, yes. This, is, this is Giovanna. Can you do you remember me? Yes. <laughs> I, I'm very glad to see you again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I really would like to. Uh, I, I'm continuing my study in Midland College for the RN. Yes. Uh, yeah, and uh, I, I would like to have an appointment with you if you don't mind. Okay, if you could email me or call me and we can schedule an appointment as soon as Tuesday. We can we can schedule an appointment. Tuesday? Yes, Tuesday. Give me a call. Oh. And we we will schedule an appointment for you. That will be perfect. And what are the uh, when when will you be able like the hours to call you? Uh, we're we have entered our summer hours, which is Monday through Thursday, 730 a.m. to 530 p.m. That will be perfect. I will call you a date on Tuesday and to schedule an appointment to see you again back. <laughs> OK, nice hearing you. Nice to see you again. Thank you yeah. very much. Uh huh. Have a good day. Bye. Evening. You Bye. Bye bye. Ms. Odoweli, do you have a question that I could assist you with? Alfredo, is she muted? Is he no, muted? I'll unmute her. Hello. Ms. Odoweli, do you have a question I could assist you with? No. I have no questions, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Bye. Bye. Alexandra Alfredo. Yeah. Um, Alexander, are you there? Alexander? Alexander, do you have a, a question I could help you with? I think he's moved on. Mute him. I think he's just moved on. So uh, okay. I think it's just you and me and Alexander. Oh, okay. <laughs> that kicked butt. I cannot believe it went so well. I think it went well. I think it went very well. I, I couldn't. I couldn't follow my notes. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell. That was the best job you had done out of all the tests. So uh, I thought you 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 kicked butt. Oh hell. With everybody, everybody's help. Very did, well. Did you turn off the recording, Alfredo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we kicked about 59 minutes and 57 seconds. Oh, I really? stopped it. I still haven't stopped it. Okay. We're going to stop. <laughs>